Hey guys and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Blender's AI denoising node that comes with Blender 2.81 and compared to a lot of other denoisers that we've seen before this one is absolutely amazing. I've been using it in a lot of my projects and um, it's super simple and this tutorial will be really quick so let's get right into it. Okay so with the scene opened up whichever one you've chosen what we're going to do is make sure we're in cycles window so we're in Blender 2.81 over here we're going to make sure we're in cycles if you click on this little camera go to render engine it needs to be on cycles not EV. so cycles and you can go ahead and select a GPU if you want these things don't really matter because we're just testing out the node and to really exaggerate this a bit I'm gonna go and set my render samples to two or four and I know that's really low and it's quite extreme but it's a really good way to kind of show you guys just how amazing this thing is so I recommend you do that if you want to be wowed as well so with that done, um, go ahead and render like you usually would. And you can see here that's obviously a really quick but noisy render. And now all we simply have to do is go here to our compositing node. And what we're going to do is enable nodes, use nodes. So by default yours might not be enabled, so just go use nodes and you should have this pop up here on the screen. And if you don't see anything, all you have to go is sh shift A, search. And we're going to get a viewer node, this one right here. And we're going to take the image, plug it into here, and you should see the image pop up here. But at the moment, it's really noisy. So here's where the magic comes in. All we have to simply do is go Shift A, search, and we're going to get the denoising node. So you just type in DEN, you should see denoising. Place it anywhere you want in the scene. And we're going to take our image, plug it into the image, and then take this node output and put it into the composite take this one and put it into the image and just give it a second to do its thing and there you go so that took about a minute and a half on my machine but you can see here that is actually really impressive now I know there's a lot of detail loss and you do have to take into account that we set our samples really really low to like two just as an extreme example but this should really help you guys a lot and I hope it's been as useful to you guys as it has been to me. When I found this note it is really amazing and it is a lot better than this um, denoise, standard denoiser that um, we've been using in Blender. So if you like this please hit like, if you want to subscribe, subscribe, I've got a lot of other videos and I hope you guys like this little quick kind of tutorial. Thanks.